Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you an experiment uh, how you can work out the refractive index of uh, glass. I've got here a glass block and I've uh, drawn around the glass block. Now this piece of paper is on a piece of uh, cork board. Okay, so there's the cork board there. I'm just going to take these pins out because we don't need them just yet. But I'll explain why the pins are there in a second. So, first thing you do in this experiment is you place two pins into your board here. You just ignore the lines there for now. So you put two pins there and if I look, okay, like this, okay, at the refraction of the uh, the light coming from the pins, if I move it to the side here, if you look there you can just see the, ref the image of the pins uh, uh, through the glass, okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my pins here and I'm going to place them in line with that, Im uh, with that image. Okay, like this. So, if we're looking through the glass, okay, you can see the four pins there. As I go like this, you can see the pins, they all line up. Okay, so the image of the two pins and then the other two pins on this side here, you can see how they all line up. Okay, like that. Then, uh, what you do is you uh, remove the glass block. Okay, you've drawn around the glass block already. Remove your pins. Where the pins have been, you can see two holes here. Okay, so you can draw a straight line there. So this is representing the light going into the glass block. You need to mark the normal line there, and then using a protractor, measure this angle here. And this is what we call the angle of incidence, and we're going to call it I. So in this case, it was 40 degrees. Then, you need to draw a line where this ray of light enters, oops, where this light, ray of light enters here, and then where it leaves here from the other two pins, you need to draw a line going across like this. Now this is going to be my ray of refraction here, and I've measured it here and it's 25, 24 degrees. Okay, so this is inside the glass block. So, the next thing you're going to do is sine I over sine R is going to give us our refractive index of the glass. So sine 40 over sine 24, and we get 1.58, and there we go. Uh, that is the refractive index of the glass, 1.58. Okay, hope that was useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.